Ross? You are. Excellent. I'll let you guys in. Sure, no problem. Whatever's coming here for you. Right. At our next service call, she got no heat. Bar Rockaway. My feet are dry. Godzilla's feet are dry too. Let's see what's going on here. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm Mike, and I got Stephen behind me. All right. How are you guys doing? Good. Thank God. Well, healthy, alive, safe. Yeah. Can't complain. Yeah. Williamson. Yeah. So you see, it's hot. Okay. But I don't have any heat upstairs. She's at 180 degrees, almost 200. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm just Stop. taking out oh, okay. the pipe <laughs> that I had on the patch here. Why so, did you have that on there? Because I drained it. Why? Because no heat was coming up and after I drained it, the heat came up for one day and after that it died. Okay. Yeah. So I drained it a couple of times. Okay. Over the past few weeks because it died from a few days at one point in time. All right, let me see what's going on, and then I'll show you what not to do in the future or what to do in the future. <laughs> Don't drink. <laughs> From down there? Well, I was draining up here, right? And it yes. didn't work, so I was like, okay, maybe I'll try the bottom one. I tried the bottom um, one, and it came on. This, you'll, you'll purge with this valve, uh -huh. like, after you, before you close this. Oh, I mean, I you close, close this it? first, oh. otherwise you're just letting water out, you're not forcing anything to come through. Yeah, yeah. So, let's see what's going on. Is thermostat on right now? Um, it is. Upstairs. Is it, I what is it set to? 68 and upstairs is probably 66. I don't think she's calling. No, we have then to raise... Then we'll set it up higher. Yeah, we're going to raise the thermostat up, but for now, I'm just going to bypass the thermostat. Okay. We could do that right here. All right, this is the TT connection. Like that. See? I just bypassed TT. So now, we have a call for heat. All right, let's see what this thing is set to. Damn, thing was set to 240? Jesus Christ. We don't need any economy. Let's put that back down to 180 where it needs to be. There's that serial number for this unit. Green Mountain. Let me get some light. I'll show you what size this bad boy is. Ugh. She's 105,000 input. Okay. All right. Now we have circulation. Well, it circulates power at least. So let's get a hose and a bucket and we'll purge. Show these people how to purge. Maybe she just got some air up in there. It's dry. Empty. Yeah. You can see the house is falling apart. Home Depot specials. Well, actually, this tank was manufactured on November 8th, 2016. Oh, dang. Yeah. So that's older, too. They probably yeah. got it on sale. Maybe. Get some used tanks over here. She's missing a lower to cut off, but yeah, whatever. The cell was very cheap. All right, let's purge. Oh, you guys could have used Nah, we'll use ours. It's fine. I'm going to hook up the hose here. And then we'll close this. And again, we don't even know what the problem is yet, but since you were draining it, I just want to make sure that that's not an issue. Okay. And we're going to bump up the pressure because right now she is at 10. Oh, yeah, yeah. See all that air? Let's bump this up with that fast fill. Watch that pressure. It's at 20 PSI now. The relief valve is missing the drip leg. We'll do that next. 25. Once that hits 30, that relief valve is going to pop open. So. You have baseboard heating up there? Yeah. We gotta put that combustion cover back on. Just come out. 
lot of air. Yep. Just pump this back up again. Find that pressure. Does this one have an integrated lower to cut off? Maybe that's why there's not one. No, 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 that's, it should be around 12 PSI. Yeah. Yes. So the, the temperature reduce, uh, the pressure reducing valve and the expansion tank, you know, are both preset and, you know, pre-charged and preset for 12 PSI. You know, if you have an application where you need more pressure, then you got to make adjustments accordingly and then pump up the tank to match the pressure. Otherwise you'll have premature failure on the expansion tank. But right now you said tons of air. It's still going. Yep. So she's quieting down now. So let's, we're gonna lower down the pressure. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop this, get any air out that's on top of there. That's out now. And let's drop this down to right around 12 or 15. may not be accurate either. But let's set it at 15 right there. And she's cold though, so she'll increase. And then let's open this back up slowly. And let's wait for circulation. So she's, this is the supply side, really. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so there, they took from the bottom of the boiler, which is the return, and made it the supply. This is supposed to be the supply. This is supposed to be supplying the zone with water, not the other way around. But, you know, what do you expect from these builders? Yeah. All right, so she's at temperature already. And let's see if we have circulation. And I don't think we do. We'll have to wait and see. You ready? Yeah. I may fire it up first and let it cycle. I'm going to try to unstick it in. She'll fire up in a minute. All right, the damper is opening. There's ignition. Wait for, wait for it to fire up. And wait a few seconds. All right, turn it on. Stick it up. wrong this is pointing down so this is the supply and that is the return good numbers all right a lot of yeah good negative pressure there as well let that sit at the temperature get up to like 300 degrees gotcha clipboard clipboard it and print it